what's up guys i really debated on whether or not i was going to pull out the camera and record anything uh about what's been going on here behind the scenes for the last few weeks because i'm really not quite ready to uh fully be devoted to uh the time with the channel yet i still got to finish up the uh, few things i have on the side but i consistently just have a lot of bad luck and i decided since I have been showing a little bit of, of what's been going on on Instagram and Facebook, that you guys also deserve to know uh, what I've got going on here. Because um, two weeks ago, I found out that my oil pump had failed on the H22 in the wagon. And I don't know how long it's been uh, running with like no oil pressure, very low oil pressure. Because my oil gauge wasn't hooked up for a minute. And... And I started hearing some noises coming from the engine and found out that I spun some bearings in the H22 that was in the wagon and that left me with nothing uh, to get me to and from, you know, home and work and the stores and everything. And I did have the option that I could have took Danielle's uh, H22, the A4 motor, uh, for uh, the Project CB7. But that's not something that I really wanted to do because that's uh, the engine for her car, for her project, and that's already been wired and ready to uh, drop into the project for when that's ready to go. So I had no other option but to try and figure out if I had enough parts laying around here to possibly assemble a whole engine out of a couple of my bad engines in between. Three of my uh, bad engines that I had laying around, I was able to come up with one good engine block, uh, a good crank, a good set of rods, and one good set of pistons to uh, take an H22A block and stuff the guts of an H23A1 into it. One of the uh, H22s I had, um, it did have a good set of pistons, and I wanted to put those in the block, and like I said, I have lots of uh, bad luck, and during the assembly process, I was putting the last one in, and I dropped it, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on the camera, but right here where my thumb is, I cracked the piston. And since I cracked that piston, and I didn't have them on any time to order a new set of H22 pistons, I just went ahead and grabbed the stock 9 to 1 compression or 9 6 to 1 compression um, H23 pistons, put those back on the H23 rods, and built ourselves a H23 VTEC to go into the wagon. So this weekend I've already got her dropped in. All we're looking at here now is an H22A block fitted with H23 crank rods, H23 P14 pistons. While I was at it to combat, you know, oil pressure issues with this oil pump, I went ahead and deleted the balance shafts out of this block. And the transmission I went ahead and uh, repaired the transmission that used to be in my coupe that was in the wreck. Needed a new casing. It's a T2 W4 uh, Euro R cord transmission, uh, LSD. And while I was in there, I swapped out the uh, fifth gear from the uh, pre uh, from the T2 W4 for a fifth gear out of a CB7 F series transmission. So hopefully I'll get a lot better gas mileage on the freeway. Because man, this four and a half dollars a gallon of fuel is just really killing me. So just about ready to uh, fire this thing up for the first time. I've got oil already in it. Got the trannies already filled. All the suspension has been put back together. Exhaust everything. I just need to uh, fill the radiator with coolant and burp out all the air and. We're going to fire up this H23 VTEC for its first time, and hopefully I didn't screw anything up. All the fluids are topped off. Engine is ready for its first fire up. All right, so we're going to get the fuel pump primed up. So 
We'll kick the pump on a couple times before we uh, turn this engine over. Everything in the motor has been uh, assembled with assembly lube. That way there is no dry fire going on before the oil pump gets all the uh, oil throughout the engine. And hopefully this thing just fires right up. It appears that I've got a check engine light on. So I need to figure out what's going on here. So I'm pulling four different codes from the ECU. One is for my cylinder position sensor inside the distributor. One is for the output, the ignition output signal coming from the distributor. I'm throwing another code 22 for the VTEC pressure switch. And I'm also throwing a code for the engine cooling temperature switch. I have swapped over my distributor and a few other things. You know, just checking to see if, I, you know, why I'm getting all these hard fault codes before the motor's even running. And uh, I still have all four codes with a different distributor, a different VTEC switch. And I went over the harness just looking over the grounds and... Uh, and all the plugs making sure that everything is plugged in correctly and everything looks okay but i'm still throwing codes and the motor just doesn't want to seem to uh, breathe to life only thing i can assume is that i've got a problem somewhere inside my harness because this is a wire tucked car although nothing looks wrong with the harness when i had it out of the car there could be something internally wrong that once it's been moved around and now i'm just having an issue i gotta pull this harness from the car and open it up and check things out and before i can go any further so here we've got the different distributor none of the pins inside my connectors look like they're corroded or anything the wiring on this distributor looks okay all my plugs are plugged in where they should be plugged in at. I check my grounds. My first ground down here, behind. Still looks good. It's still attached. I've checked all the wiring going to it. It looks okay. My ground for my cooling fan back here. That one's okay. Back here, I've got another ground for my ECU plugs. That one is still hooked up. Those are still all okay. So, like I said, everything looks okay visually. And I'm getting the same exact codes no matter what parts, you know, that I've swapped over. So I can only assume that the problem has occurred somewhere inside the harness. And we're going to pop the heart. We're going to, I'm going to pull this harness out of this engine. And I'm going to have to open it up and figure it all out. The harness is out, and what a pain in the ass that was. I removed the intake and a bunch of other junk just to get this stupid thing out. And now the fun begins.